Good evening everyone and welcome back to the X Explorer for another video. Another short video actually. I'm Yanki Oscar 6, Delta X-ray Echo and tonight I'm back with the part 2 of the simple FM receiver schematic. In the uh, last video I promised that I'm going to uh, play around with the circuit and I'm going to try to see if I can bring any improvements but still trying to keep it simple. Unfortunately, uh, the schematic is too simple and the receiver is very basic, very, very rudimentary, if I can say so. And uh, yes, you can bring a lot of the improvements and uh, possibly make it uh, better and uh, get it to perform better. But unfortunately, doing that, uh, you will end up with something that is no longer going to be a simple FM receiver. So instead, I decided to quit the idea, but still we're going to talk about the things that I discovered and a couple of issues just in case you want to try and build it. Uh, so it's going to be easy for you to troubleshoot and I'm talking here mostly to the kids or to older kids like me that still want to play around with this schematic and they want to experiment with it. But uh, of course, I'm not going to continue without saying thank you to my friends at PCBWay for always sponsoring and supporting the DX Explorer channel. They have great PCB prototyping services, PCB assembly, SMD stencils, CNC, 3D printing and a lot more services available for you. For those of you who are new to PCBWay and you would like to order PCB boards, once you finish designing your PCB board, I would recommend you to come on PCB Way and register for a new account. Once you register for your account, you can click on the logo and it will bring you back to the home page where you can click the quote now button. It's the easiest and fastest way. Go down through all the details of uh, the way you would like your PCB board to be. Calculate uh, an estimate cost of the production and uh, after that, uh, once you calculate that, you will also calculate the shipping in this area over here. You will upload your gerbil files, you'll go to the payment process and you'll just have to wait for your PCB boards to arrive. Now, if you want to order any PCB boards from the X Explorer, the ones that I designed and I presented in most of the articles here on YouTube, just pick a project that you would like and you would like to order and I'm going to pick the one transistor FM spy transmitter since we are on FM projects and over here you have two options you can either um, order only the PCB boards or you can order PCB boards plus assembly in case you don't feel like heating up the soldering iron so just click the add to cart button again go again through all the settings the uh, gerbil files are automatically um, add it over here to your order you just have to double check the details of your boards maybe you want to change the color and so on calculate uh, um, the production cost and over here this is the way the pro uh, shipping costs look like you will save it to cart go through the payment process and again wait for your boards as i'm always saying pcb way is the way Okay, so let's talk really quick about uh, what I did today. Um, so I've been playing around with the circuit, trying to see if I can make any improvements. And basically uh, what I do is just uh, play around with different components. Uh, I might change values, I might add things, I might remove things um, until I get it to work the way I like it to, to work. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, if, if you want to actually really improve it, you'll end up with something else totally different and it's no longer to be what we call simple uh, FM receiver. Uh, still, again, I'm going to repeat, it's still a nice project, it's nice to experiment, but um, it's not guaranteed that it's always going to work and sometimes it might fail. And we're going to uh, take a look in a little bit to show you exactly why. But... Anyway, today I was going through some of the comments and uh, many of you uh, told me about uh, adding a preamplifier, which is a totally good idea. And um, I think Hobby Rob was saying that, yeah, it's definitely a simple one. And <laughs> what do I expect from this one? Indeed, I mean, it's a simple, it's a simple circuit. But the idea with the, the videos actually uh, of building all these simple circuits that I love building uh, here on the channel, 
Um, it started from the thing that many times online you see articles that they look promising. Uh, sometimes they're saying this is an amazing receiver, it's an amazing transmitter and you start building it and you realize that it's not. And it was the same with this one because the kid who emailed me, um, I think he tried a couple of times to build this one and it just wouldn't work and today I realized why. Um, but uh, yeah, sometimes uh, you have those kind of projects and you're kind of uh, uh, happy and uh, <laughs> you are ready to start working on the project and you realize that uh, at the end um, it's not exactly what you were hoping for. And obviously this was the same. So. Uh, without wasting any time, um, by the way, thank you uh, to my friend Oscar Lima Six Papa Kilo who wrote me a fun comment saying that they are a nice project, uh, projects to work on, but sometimes they can give you headaches and you just give up, and that's exactly what I did today with this one. Also, Marcus, thank you so much for the comment and uh, uh, the ideas to improve it. Uh, so I might apply those uh, ideas that you guys wrote it down in the comments uh, to the next uh, receiver that I'm planning to build also uh, FM receiver because we still need uh, an FM receiver that actually works. I played around with the coil today uh, with the inductor basically and I built quite a few of them experimenting with different transistors and different uh, inductors and so on. Um, Still, the results uh, were not very different. Uh, some of them works, some of them didn't work at all. With some of uh, some values uh, of the inductor, the transistors uh, don't work at all, and so on. So um, yeah, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. So let me um, hook up everything over here and show you exactly what was the problem. All right, so I'm not going to connect the audio amplifier uh, again and uh, listen to the stations because we did that last night. Um, I actually replaced the transistors um, and I'm using, I don't think these ones are um, available to buy them anymore or maybe you can still find them uh, from some old stock. I'm using BF200 and it seems that with these ones it performs a lot better than it does with the 2N3904. Um, by the way, that was my last pair of 2N3904 and today um, I actually moved the entire circuit on a PCB uh, version basically. I built the receiver Manhattan style, again uh, keeping the uh, leads very short as I usually like doing anyway, uh, not necessarily for this receiver. but. Uh, Unfortunately, it still performed the same, so it was not a big difference and um, I rebuilt it on the prototyping board. I tried to keep the leads even more short, but it still, it still performs the same. So I want to show you over here uh, because we, we're tuning around. Uh, so uh, with the, the way I built it and I presented last night, I can tune it between uh, 103.75 megahertz down to, let's see, 98.03 megahertz. So that's what I get. Um, I tried other transistors today. I tried two and two 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 two. I'm not going to replace them right now because it's just, we're just going to waste time. Uh, with those transistors, actually, surprising, it didn't work. But if you remember, uh, the, um, the simple FM spy bug transmitter video that I presented some while back, I think I had the same issue over there when I was uh, using uh, some of the transistors that uh, they didn't work. Um, the thing just wouldn't oscillate on the right frequency. So uh, I had to use 2N3904 and that one actually worked. So it's the same uh, over here. I uh, wanted to experiment a little bit with the BF200 and they seem to perform a little bit better. But uh, yeah, that's uh, what I was trying to explain. So using some of the transistors like the 2N2222, this one is not going to be existent or sometimes it's going to um, oscillate on a totally different frequency um, and I had some transistors today I can't remember which one I tried S something 
with 5.0, I can't remember exactly. You used to find those transistors in the Pixie kits, uh, NPN transistors. I tried those transistors and uh, the whole thing was so... Uh, with the coil that I have right now, uh, made according to the specifications from the article. So, um, basically right here on the board right now you have exactly what it is in the article uh, from that you and the actual <laughs> the schematic that you find online most of the time so um yeah um with uh, that transistor i think it was oscillating somewhere around 50 something megahertz i think i had the same situation with uh, with the uh, spy uh, transmitter so yeah it is what it is i mean um, that's the reason why i was saying that it's not easy to replicate so in case it doesn't work sometimes just try different uh, transistors and uh, maybe you can get it to work just in case you might have any issues and uh, you are not able to get it to work now when it comes to um, covering the entire fm band uh, from 88 to 108 uh, megahertz um, probably you might want to play around with the value of the capacitor and also the inductor maybe more turns or less turns you can use some online calcul calculators i'm using coil uh, 32 uh, to calculate uh, resonant circuits and uh, i start from there and then i play around with the inductor until and the capacitor value until i get it to work so yeah, I wanted to, to make this video just to show you that not all the projects are exactly what they are written uh, um, in uh, online. Sometimes, yeah, uh, probably, uh, as I was saying last night in the last night video, uh, with the original transistors which have a better bandwidth, uh, the receiver might perform way better. Um, unfortunately, I do not have those and I am, what I'm trying to do is to uh, create something that, um, you know, kids or other people, like older kids, as I was saying, like, like me of my age, that like to play with these circuits, um, they might want to replicate and then um, if it doesn't work, it's not worth it. So, yeah, it's still a fun project. I really liked the fact that I actually built it. Um, it does work it's not exactly as uh, it was stated to be but it does work and um, yeah i think it's worth uh, building it uh, even though just for experimenting and trying it and uh, yeah anyway let's not waste any time i'm going to be back with another video on uh, on a simple fm receiver and that one i believe it's going to work and way better than this one so stick around, I'll be back with that video very soon. So that's it for this evening, I hope you enjoyed the video. Unfortunately, um, I could call this one as a failed project. Um, not entirely, uh, because it still works, but uh, it's not exactly what it promised to be. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. It's actually just the second fail uh, since I opened the DX Explorer YouTube channel. I think the first one was the CW Keyer with uh, 1555 uh, IC and uh, that one didn't work either. So yeah, um, that's what it is with uh, all this online world and with uh, articles that are promoting something. And then uh, once you build it, you discover that it's not exactly what it was stated in the article. But it was fun experimenting with, uh, it still works, I'm still going to uh, put it on a, a Manhattan style PCB board and keep it as a memory and who knows, maybe now and then I might play around with it uh, again, trying to see if I can, uh, still I'm going to try to see if I can get it better but still keep it simple, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a fantastic rest of the weekend. Happy weekend, because it's nearly there. 73 from Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X-ray Echo.